Welcome back to In Search of Speed Diecast Racing. I am Jeff. I am your host, and today is qualification race number four of the featherweight category. Featherweight category are cars that weigh 20 to 39 grams. They are fast cars, but they are not fast enough to be in the tower. The tower is where our top 16 cars reign, no matter their weight. But we still want to give fast cars recognition, and we're going to do that by different weight categories. And folks, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button Give this video a big thumbs up and by doing so we promise to bring you fun fast entertaining die cast racing isn't that right mr king i am bored when is the next big king of the hill match good question mr king i'm glad you asked stick around to the end of the video and you're gonna get a sneak peek let's meet the six who have moved on to the big 12 finale race number one the regal grand national and the nitro door slammer race number two was the dots and bluebird and the donald duck truck Last week's winners were the Watkins Chrysler and the Ford Escort. Let's meet our racers today. In race number one, we have from the 25th anniversary set, the 1934 three window taking on the Lamborghini Urus. Race number two, we have the Jaguar Project taking on the Mustang Mach 1. Race number three, we have the 1967 Chevelle taking on the split window. And in race number three, we have the Ford F-150 Lightning taking on the 67 Chevelle. Race one, the 34 Coupe take it on the Lamborghini Urus. Recap of racing rules. Lane number two is the fastest lane. Lane number five is the second fastest lane. Someone wins in lane five, he moves on. Someone wins in lane two, he's got to prove his left self in lane five. If we have a tie, we do two in a row, starting with tiebreaker matches in lane three and four, and then we alternate from there. All right, Judy, are we ready to do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, three mark. Get set, go. The Urus is going to win. I bet a lot of y'all did too. On your mark. Get set, go! Who's up front? Ooh, he gapped him in lane two. All right, let's go to lane three and lane four and see if we can get two in a row. Judy, on your mark. Get set, go! Oh, oh, 34 coupe to get. All right, on your mark. Get set, go! Good take. All right, we're tied 1-1. One, one. We're going to lane five, lane six. Looking for two in a row. On your mark, get set, go. Who's up? Front is the 34-3 window coupe. All righty, the girls had to go to bed, unfortunately, so it's only me. Let's see if this 34 coupe can say night-night, Mr. Lamborghini, in lane six. On your mark, get set, go. Two is the Jaguar Project taking on the Mustang Mach 1. On your mark, get set, go. Yep, Jaguar takes him. He moves on to the semifinals. Race three, 67 Chevelle taking on the split window. Do it, on your mark, get set, go. And it is the, oh nice, nice pull away speed from the 67. Race four, we have the Ford F-150 taking on the 67 Chevelle. Sue takes it. On your mark. Get set. Go. And it will be... Yep. Ford F-150 Lightning. But that Chevelle gave him a race. He's moving on to the semifinals. First race of the semifinals, Ford Coupe taking on Jaguar Project. Let's do this. On your mark. Get set. Go. Who's up front? Who's up front? It is the Jaguar Project. He is moving on as one of the fastest. Congratulations, DXP Diecast Racing, for picking the Jaguar to be one of the fastest. Finally, race two of the semifinals. 67 Chevelle taking on the Ford F-150. On your mark. Get set. Go. And it is... Okay, the two... Uh, lane two. Winner! 67 Winner! Chevelle now has to prove himself in lane five. Let's see if the Chevelle can end this. On your mark. Get set. Go. It is nope. We're tied up. So we're going to lane three and lane four. On your mark. Get set. Go. It is the F-150 taking it. Let's see if he can take it in lane four and move on. Oh, we got some close racing today. F-150 lane four. Chevelle lane three. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, tight! Oh. Winner. 
Need two in a row. On your mark. It's it. Go. And it is. Finish line says the Chevelle took it in lane five. See if the Chevelle can end this. On your mark, get set, go. And the Chevelle with the comeback speed ends it. He will be moving on. There we have it, folks. Two more cars. Moving on to the featherweight 12 car finale. We have four races down, two races to go, which means we're going to have four more cars, which will complete the 12 cars we need for our grand finale race, where we will find our nine fastest featherweight cars. Folks, now it's time for a sneak peek at our next big King of the Hill tournament racing event, the Road to the Throne, featuring the 2014 Clear Speeder. And I am excited about this one. How many of y'all have done internet searches and typed in fast Hot Wheels cars and come across this video? These young men had a really good YouTube diecast racing channel. And they never claimed that the clear speeder was the fastest car ever made. But these boys had some fast castings and this clear speeder beat all of them. Well, that sparked up conversation in the chat room. So what Mr. In Search of Speed did is I bought eight of the cars mentioned in that chat. As you can see here in the pictures, these are the eight cars that will be featured in our next big King of the Hill racing event. So here's how we're going to do this. Man, is this going to be a good race. We're going to have a tournament where the eight Eight cars mentioned in that chat room are going to race against each other. The winner of that eight car tournament, the fastest car, will then go on to face the fastest of the four 2014 clear speeders that I bought. The winner between those two cars, after they duel, is going to go on to take on our gatekeeper. And if that car beats our gatekeeper, he has thus earned the right to enter into the tower. Once in the tower, he gets to race each one of those cars one by one to see if he can possibly become the next king of the hill so folks until next race crack a card open and race it we'll see you at the next video